I got a question. And that question is for everybody here who's watching this video. The question would be for Cody Rhodes and CM Punk, but I have no opportunity to talk to him. So my question for you is both men are talking about winning the Royal Rumble. Both men are talking about the importance for both of them to win the Royal Rumble. Punk, to prove that he is still the best in the world. Prove that he is the, 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 the wall that you have to go through. He is the standard. Cody Rhodes needs to win so he can go on and finish the story that didn't get finished at last year's WrestleMania against Roman Reigns. But my question for both of for everybody here is this simple thing. What if you don't? As always, if you like the video, hit that like, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Last night, we saw a heated battle between two friends in the WWE on Monday Night Raw, that being CM Punk and Cody Rhodes, two superstars that we never thought that we'd ever see back inside the WWE or back inside the WWE, and they are facing off against one another, talking about why they need to win the Royal Rumble and why they will. But the question that copped in my head last night was not about who won the promo battle. It wasn't about what it wasn't about the Royal Rumble so much as what happens if neither men win the Royal Rumble? What happens then? For Cody Rhodes being on Monday Night Raw, how does he find himself able to challenge Roman Reigns for the champion the universal title? And for CM Punk. His road's a little bit easier because if he don't win the Royal Rumble match, he can always still challenge Seth Rollins, unless, of course, it's my pick, which is Gunther who wins, who will challenge Seth Rollins. But there's still that opportunity there for Punk. So my question is, what if me, the one of these men, win the Royal Rumble? Ask yourself that question. What if neither men win? What do you think is in store for them? Because for Cody Rhodes, he's got to win it now. Because if he doesn't go on to win at WrestleMania, if he doesn't go on to beat Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship, I don't want I don't want Cody Rhodes beating Seth Rollins. I want Roman Reigns beating, not Roman Reigns. I don't I, Cody beating Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 because that's who the story is for. That's what it's all about. Cody Rhodes goes on to win the World Heavyweight Title over Seth Rollins. Everybody looks at that title, at least I do, as a secondary title. Unfortunately, as prestigious as Seth Rollins has made it, it's still not the Universal Championship. It's still not beating Roman Reigns. It will mean so much more to Cody if he can if he finishes that story because if he doesn't finish that story, if he doesn't beat Roman Reigns. Then last year at WrestleMania, having Roman Reigns go over against Cody Rhodes will look like a mistake on the WWE's part. For CM Punk, no one thought he was going to come back. No one thought he was going to be there. We know that there's personal heat between him and Seth Rollins. That match makes the most sense. And then you could have CM Punk as the World Heavyweight Champion. And Cody Rhodes, the Universal Champion, in a unification match. And then, this right here, this standoff, this eye-to-eye, -eye, mad at each other for taking personal shots, saying, I am, I'm more the American dream than you are. Referring to Dusty Rhodes and Cody's dad. To, I'm more CM Punk than you are. Which wasn't that great of a line, let's be honest, but it is what it is. There's magic here if they play the cards right in the WWE. So my question is, who, who is going to win? My question is, what happens if they don't? That's the bigger question, because what happens if they don't, to me, is more of a story of what happens if they do. These two will meet in the ring at some point in time. It may be further down the road, but I promise you, these two will meet in the ring at some point in time. And I pray to God that it's not that the winner goes against Seth Rollins. It could possibly be that if CM Punk loses and Cody Rhodes loses, CM Punk stands in the way between him and Roman Reigns. That CM Punk is the common denominator, the wall that's blocking Cody Rhodes. That Cody has to get through CM Punk before he gets to Roman Reigns. Because CM Punk, being the heel, more, more heelish character that he is, gets in the way of Cody and tries to take away that title opportunity.
I don't know. Things are heating up, boy. I tell you what. I'm I, I I tell you what, boy. I'm excited for this little face-off whenever it happens because I'm telling you, boy, it needs to happen. 